Welcome to the program. My name is Grace Kurena. We begin in Kajiado, Kenya, where a section of leaders from Western Kenya have converged at Kotu Secretary General Francis Atwali's home to focus on the region's political way forward and the imminent purge at the National Assembly leadership. Now, Duncan Hayemba is there for us and now joins us live. Good afternoon, Hayemba. It's great to hear from you. Talk to us about what is currently happening. Yes, as uh, you can see, the meeting is uh, underway and um, uh, it was uh, expected uh, from the invite. We knew they were members of parliament, but we now have uh, two governors, three governors are in here and uh, LCS devolution, uh, Eugene Wamalwa, uh, the uh, uh, Kakamega Governor, Wycliffe uh, Oparanya, Bungoma, uh, Wycliffe Wangamati, and Vihiga, Wilbo Tichiro. And uh, more leaders appear to be coming in. Uh, the meeting started uh, shortly, and uh, we had to understand that Busia Governor of Peter Jamong is also uh, on his way. And uh, the meeting started shortly after one, and any moment now after the, after the deliberations are over, we'll be getting a brief of basically uh, what the meeting is all about, Grace. Um, MPs uh, who did say that you know they wouldn't be attending. I don't know if um, there's any word regarding that. Uh, please come again. I've, I've heard only the final bit of your question. Hamba, I'm saying uh, we understand that there are some members of parliament, for instance, the Malava MP Malulu Injendi, who said that he will not attend the today's meeting at uh, you know the today's Luya leaders meeting. I don't know if there's any word regarding that. Yes, uh, not all of them are here. Uh, the number of uh, lawmakers that are here is about 30. But uh, what we can confirm, uh, he is not among those who are here. Uh, Bungoma Senator uh, uh, Moses Atangula is not here. Uh, Kiminini Member of Parliament, Chris Amalo, is not here. But we've seen Ford Kenya members are here. We've seen uh, Kwanzaa Ferdinand Wanyonyi is in here. Uh, we can, uh, Etongarens, uh, David Esen is also here, who was appointed uh, Deputy Minority Whip. We've uh, seen Sabotis, Caleb Amisi is here. It is a cocktail, uh, ANC, uh, ODM, and the Ford Kenya are members of parliament that are here. And then uh, we do understand that there are also other uh, players that are already in, but they're not necessarily okay. members of parliament. But from what we gather is that uh, they, are, they are working on uh, building up on uh, what uh, they will, uh, uh, that must culminate into formation of uh, a one political outfit. Uh, just a few minutes ago, Devolution CSC Gino Amalo has finished addressing the gathering and uh, asking them to uh, take advantage of the show of uh, Luya unity they put up when Kakamega hosted the second BBA rally after the Kisi one, or which he says that it, it really sends a, a strong message out there and they want to leverage on that gathering crest. Hamba, lastly, before I let you go, you've mentioned some of those leaders who are absent. You've mentioned Moses Betangula, the Ford Kenya Party leader, and Chris Wamalwa, especially this being just a day after he was ousted from, you know, the deputy minority reposition in the National Assembly. Do their absence mean something? Definitely, uh, that is their, 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 their absence is a, a very loud uh, uh, protest, so to speak, uh, because uh, what is happening here, uh, just uh, a few days ago, the same uh, clique of uh, leaders met in Westland and held another meeting, and uh, it's building up to something. Remember that uh, the season of political realignment is here with us. And that the fact that uh, Ford Kenya leader Moses Wetangula is not here, ANC party leader um, Salim David is not here, uh, that tells you uh, where the whole uh, uh, could be, the whole mix could be headed. Remember that uh, uh, devolution uh, CS Eugene Amalwa, he is a politician. Kakamega governor weekly for Paranya, his term is coming to an end. And as such, uh, he is somebody who could be angling maybe for a stake in the national politics. And therefore, all these gatherings have a uh, meaning. And the fact that uh, uh, neither Wetangula nor Mudavad is part of this gathering, and this is a second meeting, then it definitely uh, uh, sends a, a loud signal. Uh, that should not be forgotten, the fact that uh, even the Buhungu meeting earlier in the year, uh, the two were initially opposed to it, but uh, ended up attending nonetheless. 
So there is more that uh, meets the eye, definitely. But we'll hear more from the resolution once the meeting is over. Hayamba, thank you so much for that. Duncan Hayamba, senior political reporter, coming to us live from Kajiado, the home of Kotu Secretary General Francis Atwali, where various leaders from Western Kenya are congregating to issue a presser on the imminent purge at the National Assembly leadership. Let's now move.